Zoho Campaign Tutorial for Beginners How to Use Incendi Campaign Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Zoho Campaign to create responsive designs, customize messages, deliver emails to inboxes, trigger automated workflows, and connect with new customers. So, let's get started. First of all, what you guys need to do is you can go to zoho.com slash campaigns and it will take you to this platform right here zoho also offers a lot of other platforms such as zoho crm zoho mail but this is zoho campaigns right here to create email marketing campaigns and more in order to get started with Zoho campaign, you will have to actually sign up. Signing up process is really easy. You can see we just have to enter our name, then email address, set up a password, enter our phone number, agree to terms of use, click on sign up for free and you will get your own dashboard on Zoho campaigns for free. After the initial sign up or sign into your Zoho campaigns, this is where you will land. You can see this is my Zoho campaigns and we have this dashboard. On Zoho campaigns, at this side of the screen, you will be able to find your dashboard. Then we have campaigns that will allow me to create SMS campaign, email campaign and more. Then we have contacts that allows me to add list and create contacts. Of course, we have automation e-commerce and library and we also get our reports so first thing that you need to do on zoho is that you can add your contacts so that you can create campaigns for that when it comes to creating contacts you can see we have manage list segments manage topics and then we have sign up forms so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the manage list section and create a new list to send a campaign to in order to create a new list click right here and now we have to give our list a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it new subscribers. This is going to be my list. I'm going to click on save. So now we have a how would you like to get contacts into your list. Add contact. This is going to be a manual method. Then we have import contacts where you can import list. And then we have a sign up form. So I'm going to go ahead and add a contact manually. This is how you add a contact on Zoho campaign. You have to enter their email address. Then you can enter their mobile number. In contact basic details, you have to enter a title, first name, last name, job title, company name, and a phone number. So I'm going to quickly do that. And then we can enter some additional details, social info, custom info, and account info. Once you're done, click on add and the contact will be added to the list. Now our list is ready. We're going to go to the campaigns right here and click on email campaign. Here we're going to create a new one. Click on this button. We can select what type of campaign we want to create. So we have regular email, A-B split testing, RSS, Zoho meeting, uh, go to a webinar, event writer, survey monkey, and we have coupons. So these are some of the other integrations that we can add to our Zoho. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a regular email. Give your campaign a name. So I will be creating a welcome email for my new subscribers. So we have topic. You're going to select the topic from here. This is according for the marketing. So I'm going to click on save and proceed. Moving on, we have to enter our subject. Click on add subject right here. So the subject is going to be welcome and preheader is going to be welcome new subscribers. There you go. Now I'm going to click on save. Moving on, we have to enter a sender detail. Click right here. Enter your name or any other uh, team member's name. Enter their email address. Click on save. Now we have to enter a recipient. Click on add recipient right here and you can select from the list that you just created. So I'm going to select this one and this one right here. Click on save. So the list is added and it will show you the total number of recipients. Moving on, we have content. Click on create content and it will take you to Zoho editor. But first we need to select a template. We can go for a saved template that we created or we can go for a pre-designed template and we can also go for a basic template. So I'm going to go with a pre-designed template available on Zoho. On Zoho campaign, we have a lot of different templates available. You can see we have welcome, emails, deal and offers, holidays, newsletters, surveys and more. So I'm creating one for welcome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one right here. So I'm just going to click on select template. Okay, so this is our editor. On Zoho, you can see we have elements that we can add to our email campaign. Uh, we have text, images, socials, columns, buttons, 
spacer, dividers, videos, uh, polls, tables that we can insert. Then we have different layouts available for the email. We have design where we will be able to customize everything that we have here. Uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually customize the template a little bit. We have this logo right here. This is not the logo for my business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change it. We can make the banner smaller. We can customize the banner according to us or we can completely get rid of it. So whenever you hover over any element on your email right here, you can see it gives you this edit option and it also gives you the delete option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete and delete this section right here, which is the logo section. So I'm going to click on done. Now, what we need to do is there is also a divider here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings, click on delete and it will get rid of it. So now what we need to do is we need to enter text here. So it's a simple click on the text and now it gives you three choices and you're going to drag and drop what you want to add to your uh, your email. So this is what it says. I'm going to, of course, enter my text, which is welcome. We can change the alignment now. So I'm going to actually take it to the center right here. Perfect. Now we have another text here. I'm going to customize it. It says, thank you for your subscription. Okay. I am also creating a welcome email for my subscribers. So this actually kind of like makes sense, but let's change the text to welcome. Okay, so this is our text right here. You can see this is our main heading that we have this here. After that, there is an image added and we can change it, of course. Uh, to change an image, you're going to click on it and click on change or edit. So I'm going to click on change. It will allow me to select an image from my computer or to upload. So I'm going to click on upload from my computer. Once the image is uploaded, you're going to click on use. Perfect. The image has been added. We can, of course, change the size a little bit. So you can see image size is fit or we can go with a custom. So when it comes to the custom size, we can actually change it a little bit and we can, of course, change it. So you can see. OK, so this is the uh, size I am going for. And now we can change the padding a little bit and I'm going to take it to the left. OK, it looks perfect. Now, let me show you how to add an element, like a bunch of different elements. We have a text here again. So here I will enter the name of my new subscriber or if you want to add any other text. Let's say there was no text here, like there was no element here. How to add it then? So for that, what you guys need to do is I'm going to add text here or we can add another image or text plus image as well. So we have our body text. Now I want to add a button. You're going to click on the button. It will give you three choices. On Zoho, uh, whenever you select any of the element, let's say I have selected social, then it gives you the types of social you want to add. If I want to add spacers, then it will show you the type of spacers you can add and then you can drag and drop. Let's go to the button and I'm looking for this kind of button. So I'm going to drag and drop the button right here. Okay, so it says get now. I do not want to say that. I'm just going to go with click here and we can change the color for our button and this is where i will be adding the link then it again shows us the layout and everything i'm going to click on done so you can see our elements have been added i can now maybe add a divider so i'm going to click on divider right here and we're going to drag and drop a divider right here then i have also added socials the divider color is red i do not want that i actually want it to be black so once your campaign is ready, your email is ready, this is what it looks like. I went with a very simple email. You can see it's a welcome email for my new subscribers. Once it's done, I can now click on proceed or I can preview and test. So I'm going to click on proceed right here and it will allow me to now schedule or send my email marketing campaign that I created with Soho. So now you can see send it right away or send in badges. Now I can just review and launch in review. It will show you everything that you have added like your details. And this is how you can save a campaign. We also have contacts, automation and reports that will give me all the reports for my campaigns and SMS based campaigns. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. And now you know how to use Zoho campaigns. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.